You have a big game coming up against the Rockets. What is the challenge when you're facing a team with two MVPs, including the guy who has led the league in scoring the last three years? Oh, man. Um, those guys are you know, just incredible basketball players. Um, they know how to play the game. They know how to play off, off of each other. Um, you know, James is <laughs> he's one of the best scorers we've seen in a very long time. You know, no matter what kind of defense you throw at him, you know, he just he finds a way. Um, and of course, Russ. You know he's he's nonstop. You know he's he gives a hundred percent each and every night. You know just two incredible basketball players. You have one of the few teams that's already played Houston since they went all in on small ball. Mm -hmm. You lost that game. Yeah. What did you learn from that? Um, they're tough. Well, they're a very tough team. Um, but you got to be on point. Um, you know for us, I don't think we you no know, follow our game plan completely. Um, I think we'll definitely be ready for the for the next one. Um, you know, you just you, you got to make shots. That's one. That's one thing I learned as well. You know, you have to make shots, and you know, we just have to be better. You played your whole career in one place. Mm -hmm. You are halfway through your first season somewhere else. What is different about playing in Boston? The organization, the city, just being on a different team. Yeah, um, it's definitely different. Um, I think the biggest difference is the expectation. Um, you know, they expect big things, and you know, that's kind of what I wanted to be a part of. Um, it's, a, it's definitely a, a very special organization, very special, very, very special fan base. Um, the games are usually out of control. You know, our fan base is, 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 is pretty incredible. Um, but they, they just get us going each and every night. You were going into a situation with the Celtics where things just hadn't worked out last season. Mm -hmm. People were very open, chemistry problems, locker room problems. And you were specifically replacing the guy that had originally been pegged to be their franchise player for the next mm -hmm. few years. That is a lot to walk into. What has your approach been, knowing that you were kind of getting in the middle of all that? Um, I never really thought about it, actually. Oh, um, come on. It's, I didn't. It, it was just like, I mean, I just know what kind of guy I am. I know my personality. I know, you know I can get guys to kind of gravitate towards me. Um, and you know. I think I'm a fun guy to be around. Um, you yeah. and Kawhi Leonard, just fun, two fun guys? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I just kind of be myself. Um, and these guys you know, allow me to be myself, which is probably be, probably the, the coolest thing about it. You guys are pretty firmly in the top half of the playoff bracket for the East. Mm -hmm. What is the ceiling for this team? Um, I think it's really high. Um, you know, I think we can go as far as we, as we want to. You know, we just got to stay locked in, you know, have to stay on top of our games, um, you know, stay together just like we've been doing all year, you know. We've, you know, had times where we hit some adversity, um, but we never stopped. And, you know, because of that, you know, I think it can take us really far. You have played on a team where it was just a scrap to try to get into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Only got there twice. A yeah. lot of times you were just out of it. Yeah. So what does it feel like to know, I mean, you're all yeah. but guaranteed at this point of playing in the yeah, postseason. Yeah, I know. It's, I think it, I think it's pretty cool, and it's a great feeling, you know. Um, like you said, you know, over the years, you know, we kind of been, you know, middle of the pack, and like right now we're on the top, you know, one of the top teams. So um, it's different. It's different, you know, playing every night, you know, knowing that you that you're playing for something. Um, it's 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 really cool, and, and you know, that's 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 why. I, that's why I want to be a part of the Celtics. You've never won a playoff series, right? Mm -mm. Nope, never right. been on the first round. So we're gonna have to check back on you. <laughs> I hope so. That's that's the plan to, you know, get out of the first round, um, and then see what we can do from there. Okay, so I know you played in Charlotte. I know you played in Boston, but you're a New York basketball kid. Let's mm -hmm. not kid ourselves. That yeah. is a big tradition. I'm gonna hit you with a few New York questions uh -oh. just before we go here. All right, <laughs> it's just A or B, jump ball. Here we go. New York City edition. Tim's or Nike ACGs? Tim's. No question. Tim's. Yankee fitted or Rock Nation fitted? Come on, Yankee fitted. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast bagel or breakfast sandwich? Uh, breakfast sandwich. <laughs> Giants or Jets? Giants. You passed. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, that was that was fantastic. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> in the East, Giannis and the Bucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are looming. They are yeah. the team to beat. You guys don't have some all-star big to compete with that. Mm -hmm. How do you play them knowing that eventually you're probably going to have to go through them? Um, yeah, the Bucks are definitely a team to beat. Um, playing super well this year. Obviously, they got the MVP with some other great guys around them. Um, but, you know, we just got to do it together. Um, 
obviously our key focus is going to be you know Giannis, who's a very very special talent. Um, but the only way we can do it is by doing it together. Yeah. The only thing I want to ask you is, you wear number eight because yeah. of Kobe Bryant. Yeah. How much of this season to you is going to be about looking down at your chest and thinking about the guy that you've tried to model your career on? No question. Um, it's definitely you know, a, a, a very special number. Um, you know, Kobe was really young when he wore it. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously you know, it was a you know, tragic passing. And you know now that number means even more. So you know, every time I step on the court, you know, I just want to give 100% you know, for him. Um, and that's my goal for the rest of the year, and so, the rest of my career. Some guys who had eight or 24 said they didn't want to wear it anymore as a way of sort of honoring <clears throat> yeah. him and retiring it. But then there were guys like you who said, no, my way of honoring him is yeah. wearing it. Yeah. What, what made you make that decision? Um, you know, I had to talk about it, you know, with some, some close people, you know, in my circle. Um, I definitely thought about giving it up, but then I thought, um, I think Kobe would want me and allow me, you know, to wear it. Um, we want to, we want to keep his legacy going. We want to keep his name alive, and I think for the most part, when people see the number eight, I mean, you want you think Kobe, you know, um, and yeah, you know, everybody mourns a little bit differently, and you know, for me, I want to honor him, you know, as 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 much as I can and as best as I can. So, you know, I want to keep the number. Um, I know a few of us has kept it, um, and we're all just gonna go out there and you know do what we can to play as hard as possible for Kobe. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.